Hey kids, welcome to uh, unit three, lesson five, enhanced for loops, exercise number five. We have another choose your own adventure. And in this exercise, kids, really doesn't matter which one you choose. They're all pretty similar answers. You know which one I'm gonna go for. I wanna loop through some APCS exams. So let's go ahead and do exercise A. Let's take a look at what we have to do. The AP exams class analyzes data about the APCS exam and has an instance variable for the number of APCS exams taken. In exams.java, the method calculate sums returns the sum of all the values in a 1D array. In the calculate sum method, we're gonna declare and initialize a variable called sum to zero, traverse the instance variable num test using an enhanced for loop, add each value in the array to sum, return the sum. And then in my console, looks like we're gonna print the results to call a calculate sum on the total stats object, and then print the results of a call to calculate sum on the female stats object. As always, kids curious about the data, you should check out where it comes from here. This doesn't look too bad. Let's take a look at the code here before we get started. We have two arrays, total CS exams, female CS exams. We have a bunch of numbers in our array. We're instantiating two objects from the AP exams class, total stats, female stats. They are passing total CS exams array and female CS exams array. Looks like we have to do some printing here. Let's look at our AP exams class. We have one private array, num tests. We have one constructor, AP exams, takes one parameter, num tests. And then we have our calculate sums and it looks pretty empty kids. Let's take this step by step. I don't think this one is too bad. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn the sum of all the values in the 1D array. And that just means adding them up. And if you can see, they gave us a big hint there. We're gonna declare and initialize a variable called sum to zero. So this is gonna hold the sum of our array right here. It's gonna be an integer. It's gonna be called sum equal to zero. Number two, we're gonna traverse the instance variable num test using an enhanced for loop. So we're looking through all our numbers, so we're gonna use an enhanced for loop. What do we need? Well, we need a keyword, our parentheses, our curly cues. What do we wanna put in here? Well, we don't need an index. Remember, we need a variable to store each of the elements. Our num tests are integers, so our variable should also be an integer. These are values, so I'm just gonna use the variable word value. We're gonna put a colon, a space. What array are we looking through? The num tests array. Now we have to return a sum. And what is a sum? Well, it's our variable plus equal to the next index. We're not using num tests at an index because each one is being stored as the variable value. So we just wanna add value at each index to sum, and that should add up each element in our array. We're not done yet. Once we get through our array, we have to return something. Remember, if it's not a void, we have to return. So what are we returning? Well, the variable we just created, well, the sum. That is the end of our calculate sum. Well, this is our end of class. This should add up each of the elements in the array and then return the sum when we call it. That takes care of everything we have to do here in calculate sum. Let's head over to my console. First, we have to print the results of the calculate sum of the total stats. That means we need a print object, system.out.println. And what are we printing? Total APCS exams, and then we'll concatenate. Well, what array do we want to access? The total CS exams. What object is that in? The total stats. What method do we want to call? The calculate sum method. That takes care of our stats. Let's take care of our female test takers. System.out.println. Total AP 
CS exams taken by female test takers. Then we'll concatenate. What array do we want? The female CS exams. What objects that in? The female stats object. What method do we want to call? The calculate sum method. I think we have everything there. Looks pretty good. I think we have everything there. Looks pretty good. Now when I hit run, I should get the sum of each of these numbers printed off in my two print statements. Well, let's see if we're right, kids. Oh, looks like we have an error. Looks like we forgot a semicolon in our sum value. Remember, still need our semicolons after our statements. Let's hit clear and run again. And it looks like we have the sum of both of our arrays. Pretty neat, kids. Key takeaway, kids, is really wrapping up this entire lesson on enhanced for loops. It's understanding when we use it, when we're going to look through each element, how we write it, still use the for keyword. This time, instead of looking through each index, since we're assuming we're looking through the entire array, we're creating a variable to store the value at each element. And we still have to do something with that loot in our statement. Again, enhanced for loops and for loops work almost exactly the same. Big difference. For loop, you can look through just some of the elements. Enhanced, you gotta look through them all. Hopefully this video helped you understand how to write enhanced for loops and how to use them. As always, if you have any questions, come see me, kids. Otherwise, I'll see you on the next video. See you later, kids. Bye. Bye.